welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm doing a review and demo swatches, mixing these with different foundations. This is the brand new e.l.f. Cosmetics Mix to Match Foundation Adjuster. So I picked the shade, this is called White to Lighten. So this is the lightening shade. It's a pure white formula. So a little bit about this product, this retails for $4, and this is of course cruelty free and vegan, and this does contain a 0.32 fluid ounces, which is only 9.5 mils of product, and this also comes in white, bronze, deepen, golden, and warmth. I've been mixing these with a couple of my foundations, well actually three foundations that I do own that are too dark for me. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate. It's really hard to find a foundation shade that matches you perfectly. It's very, very rare. I'm sure most of us have to mix a few different colors to get our perfect shade. So it's nice that drugstore companies are coming out with foundation adjusters or mixers so we can lighten, darken, warm, bronze up any foundation shade that we already own. I was really interested in this product because if you are pale like me, you know it's really hard to find a foundation that doesn't make you look oompa loompa orange. Believe me, I've I've tried a lot of foundations from the drugstore, a few high-end ones as well, and it's just hard to get the right shade. And most foundations that are really, really light that claim to be porcelain or claim to be pale, usually most of the time end up not being that pale or they end up oxidizing and looking very, very orange on the skin. Alright guys, let's move into these swatches. I'm going to swatch this on its own. I'm also going to swatch um, the foundations. I have three of them here that are too dark for me that I'm going to lighten. I'm going to do swatches on my arm and show you what they look like. The consistency of the e.l.f. Mix to Match Adjuster is really opaque. Nice, creamy, smooth formula. Um, you know, it's not greasy or anything like that. So the first one here is the Born This Way Foundation in Snow from Too Faced Cosmetics. And Sally, this foundation is definitely too dark for me. It does tend to oxidize and it looks very oompa loompa orange. So I really like the foundation adjuster. It really does lighten very nicely. The next one is the Flower Light Illusion Foundation in the shade Porcelain L1, which is the lightest shade available. And that one as well is too dark for me. And as you can tell with the, the swatches, um, it's definitely nice and light now when I mix it with the e.l.f. Mix to Match Adjuster. And then the last one I have is the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation and I'm in the shade Fair 815 and this one I really like the tone of. It's a nice neutral toned foundation and this one again is definitely a little too dark for me especially in the winter months. I have to lighten this for sure. So as you can see here with the swatches this really does a great job of lightening each foundation in its own way and I love it. I love the results and I hope you guys found those swatches helpful. So I'm going to show you how I mixed these two together. It's actually what I'm wearing on my face right now. Super dewy, super glowy. I really love this foundation but again it's just a little too dark for me. So all I do is I add a couple of drops and that is plenty for this foundation. Mix it together. I used my finger today because I was in kind of a rush and just dot it all over, blend it in with the beauty sponge, and that's it. Super easy. I mean, it only took me like a few minutes to apply and like mix everything together, so it's not like a huge second step in my makeup routine, but this actually worked really great, and you could still see that this foundation um, on its own, it's super, super dewy, and also mixed with the foundation lightener. Um, it looks the same. I can already tell you I love this product. It actually works. It is very opaque. I'm really, really, really impressed with how pigmented this is and I wasn't sure if it was going to be that pigmented. So because of how amazing this is, you don't have to add too much to lighten your foundation, which is really nice because you don't get that much product. And that's probably my biggest complaint with this product here from e.l.f. I feel like for $4, it is only $4, but you're only getting 9.5 mils. That is a very, very, very small amount of product. Usually one fluid ounce is about 30 mils. So 9.5 is very, very small. Like this is a very, very tiny bottle. 
Just for a reference, I have tried the Manic Panic Dream Tone White Foundation. That's the one I used for years and I already finished that up, so I'm sorry I don't have it here to compare. I wish I would have kept that, but I finished it completely. So just as a comparison, I'm going to mention a couple other brands. So the Manic Panic Dream Tone Foundation retails for $11.50 and you do get a one fluid full ounce, which is 30 mils of product. And then the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in White, that one retails for $10 and you again get one fluid ounce of product. So if you wanted to get the same amount of product as the Dream Tone and the one from NYX, you would have to buy like four of these. So if you bought four mini bottles, that would bring the total to $16. It would give you th around like 38 mils of product, so a little bit over a fluid ounce, but still I feel like the price and the amount of product you get is definitely way off. I wish they would have just come out with, you know, one fluid ounce, just like the one from NYX Cosmetics, and charge like 10 or 12 bucks. That just makes more sense to me. I definitely think this is way more pigmented than the uh, Dream Tone Foundation from Manic Panic. That one is very, very sheer. I remember I would have to do several pumps in order to lighten my foundation and like really 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 lighten it um so i went through that product really really rapidly and very fast you really need to look at your foundation ingredients like look at the back label and make sure you're not mixing an oil free product with an oil product because they will not mix very well together so do keep that in mind now this product as far as i can tell in the ingredients list is it looks oil free the first ingredient is water so i know that this is definitely more water based so this actually mixes perfectly with all of my foundations like i've tried it with all of them and it does not change the formula it does not change the consistency it mixes very very well with all of my foundations and it actually works i just hope that elf kind of like changes their mind and comes out with a larger tube of product for a better price because i definitely think this is overpriced for the amount of product that you are getting so that is everything you guys i hope you enjoyed this review and demo and swatches if you did give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button it's completely free and i post new videos every tuesday friday and sometimes on sunday 10 a.m every single week i hope you will join the family here and subscribe make sure to turn on that notification bell so you won't miss out on new videos. So I hope you guys have a really awesome day and I will catch you all in the next video. Remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. Bye guys.